Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number two of Hut Roulette. And last episode was kind of like just an introduction. I went through over the over the rules. We bought a couple of players, but other than that, it wasn't that big of an episode. But this is kind of like the starting point for Hut Roulette. And now that we kind of have a chance to open up that pack, and there's also a new team of the week out as well. I'm very excited to play this episode, so if you guys can keep motivating me, leave some more likes on these videos, and I'll try to post out as many of these Hot Roulette videos as possible. So, let me go through the team before you start up a game, and I'll go to the online seasons right now. Right now, we are perfect with a 2-0-0 record in Division 10. We're going to try to push through to Division 9, which shouldn't be too hard, uh, so let me just show you guys the team. In the first line, we got Matt Martin, Peter Holland, and Michael Froelich. One of the new pickups that we got, and uh, we're going to hope that Michael Froelich makes a big presence in this next game. Uh, also, some people mentioned that I, Yannick Hansen was not on the team, which I found kind of strange as well. So I did throw in Yannick Hansen, one of my free pack players, into the team. And he's playing alongside with Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Shane Prince. On that third line, we got Matt Nieto. Tim Schaller, I think that's how you say his name, as well as Tom Wilson, one of the pickups from the first game that we did play. And on the fourth line, we got goal scorer Nathan Horton. Uh, we also got Melker Carlson and Nate Thompson on the fourth line. So, uh, also I found kind of weird that uh, some of the defenders weren't on the team as well. Instead of a 79 overall left defender guy, I put in my 83 overall Noah Hannafin. So, the team is actually a little bit better after just going through the collection. I don't know how they choose... Uh, certain players to be on the team, but this is how the team is looking like for the first game of episode number two of Hot Real Light. So let's get right into it. We gotta win this game to get this pack. Let's go, boys. Alright, so we're facing a Chicago fan here, and uh, this is a very important game for us to win. If we can win this game and we get a three game win streak, we can buy that uh, 15k pack. Internet's kind of laggy too, but hopefully it's not going to be too bad. And uh, let's get this game going, see if we can score some goals. Oh, what a deke. Get by him. Backhand it. Oh, man. Schaller doesn't have the greatest of hands. I think that was Schaller at least. Uh, let's put it down low. Try to cycle the puck a bit. Oh, right there. Nieto. Yes. And there's the first goal. A little cheeky goal to get right by his goalie. I don't know who he has in net, uh, but we do make it one to nothing with 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Darcy Kemper was beat. Matt Nieto from Wilson and Oduya. Not a bad goal. I mean, I was not wanting to pass to the guy in the middle, but it still worked out. So, one to nothing. Can't complain about that lead. This guy's literally not even playing. I'm probably just going to score some more goals on him. There you go. Another goal by Michael Froelich. And yeah, I think I'll just kind of stack up the uh, points. But look at that. He does lose connection there. I don't know what's up with that. He didn't even play the game, basically. So, that is a win for us, which means we can pretty much buy a player from the marketplace and buy a pack as well. So, we'll buy the pack first so we can kind of accumulate some coins, and then we'll see what we can pick up. So, let's go ahead. I'll show you the team of the week first. We'll go ahead and go to the auction search page. Yeah, definitely a win is a win. I'm not going to complain about that at all. I, I do get two points at that division, so we're just that much closer to going to Division 9 now. I think I'm two points away. So, anyways, I'm just going to be going through the banners to see what type of cards we can get. We can get a Steven Stamkos World Cup of Hockey card. There's also a Guinea Malkin Team of the Week, Anze Kobitar Team of the Week, uh, Shea Weber, Johnny Goudreau. So we have a chance of pulling something from this uh, Gold Plus pack, this 15k pack. And this pack is definitely going to help out our team by quite a bit. I kind of forgot how many players are actually in this, but with six players and you get two rare players, I mean, we have a really good chance of getting some really good players to fill out our roster. So let's go ahead and spend 300 of our points to buy this gold plus pack. And let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Show us something good for this first pack of Hot Roulette. All right. First pack we're going to get Mike Green. All right. That's a really good defender. Not going to lie. Need some better defenders anyways, but we're looking for something a little better though. Hopefully. Brian Fiddler, we can finally get a coach now. Would go really well with uh, Yannick Hansen on our team. Contracts, jerseys, don't need those at all. Sean Mathias, I can definitely add him to the team. Contracts, uh, Braden Shen, alright, that's our second rare unfortunately, but he is an 86 overall, which is pretty nice. Uh, Jonas Gustafsson as well. Uh, Buffalo Sabres, Greg Richards. Uh, let me just quickly scroll through the pack then. I don't think there's anything too special. Cody Franzen, that's also a really nice defender as well. Uh, Brandon Machinter, don't need him. 
healing card and healing card so anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and quick sell some of the players that i'm not gonna be using let's go ahead i'll fast forward the clip all right so after quick selling all the consumables and stuff like that i was left with these four players mike green sean matthias Braden shen and cody franzen so we're gonna send those guys to the collection we'll use them on the team a bit later but we did end up having 3.5k i think it should be a little bit more than that there you go i did sell some logos and jerseys and i sold them a little bit underpriced from what they're actually worth so i can sell them a little bit quicker but now we have 4k coins to spend on a player so we're going to go ahead and put the buy now maximum at 4023 coins and then we're going to go ahead and choose the ninth player because we did get nine shots that game so let's go ahead see who that ninth player is and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine alexander barkov 86 overall player definitely cannot complain about that he's going to add a lot of depth to our team so let's go ahead and buy and buy alexander barkov i'll meet you guys back at the roster all right so after some careful rearranging we have finally put together the team of all those like four or five players that we added in and you can see right now our first line's looking a lot better with Braden Shen, Alexander Barkov, and Sean Mathias. I was thinking maybe I'd throw in Michael Froelich onto that first line as well, but I'm thinking let's spread out the wealth just a little bit on all the lines so they all play pretty well. On the second, we got Matt Martin, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Michael Froelich. So we pretty much have like an 84 plus lineup right here. Uh, we also got Yannick Hansen, Peter Holland, and Matt Nieto on the third. We also got Shane Prince, Melker Carlson, and Tom Wilson on the fourth line. So our lowest overall right now is 81, which is not too bad in Division 10. And, uh, of, of course, you guys can see in the defense as well, Mike Green was added into our lineup as well as Cody Franzen. And that adds a lot of depth for sure. And I did swap them to the opposite side so I can do those one-timers just a little bit easier on the point. So, we'll see how that goes. We're getting very close to completing some synergies now. Uh, there's a It's a trap one that is almost done. That's a team synergy. And we're just one point away from getting that. So, the coach definitely helps out a little bit for sure. So anyways, let's get into the second game of this episode, continue that win streak here, and see if we can uh, get this win. Alrighty guys, next game, and uh, he has a really good team, I saw that he had a Henrik Zetterberg as his uh, guy that was kind of showed up in the beginning of the game, so I don't know what I'm saying here. I want to get this game going, a lot of new players making their debuts, I just went outside and caught myself a Snorlax, so I'm like kind of panting, losing my breath here, but uh, there you go, come on. Oh, come on, Math Oh, man, Sean Mathias. Oh, no. We gave him the break. Come on. Make the save. Nice save, Hutchinson. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Sean Mathias, go. He's definitely not too fast, but he's got some size to him. All right, he got no numbers with us, so we're going to just pass it back to the point. Try to bring the puck back in. Oh, go, Holland. Go, Holland. Deke him out. And sh shoot it. Oh, I was going to say snipe it and shoot it at the same time. I end up saying shrite it. <laughs> Anyways, one to nothing. I'm messing up on this commentary so bad for the second part of the game, but just got to get back into it. We're leading one to nothing now. Nice little uh, goal just to start us off with the game. Oh, nice little turn play by Wilson. Back in forehand. Oh, I tried to tuck it in short side there. Couldn't get the puck in. Oh, pass it. Oh, man, Melker Carlson almost got a goal there. Shoot it! Oh, no, he blocked the goal! All right, guys, so end of the first period. I'm going to try my best to commentate just a little bit better. First part of this a game is not too well, but one to nothing so far. We're leading four to two in shots. We have almost triple the time on our attack here, so we just got to make sure we don't give him any breaks here, and uh, we should be okay. So let's keep up, keep up some good gameplay in the second period. Let's see if we can keep it going. Definitely adding in some of these 86 overall players. Definitely makes it a lot easier to play this game. Shoot the puck! Oh, what a snipe by Braden Shen from the point. Just slaps it and beats by Tuka Ras. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, what a nice little goal there. We are leading now 2 to nothing. Shane Prince. Oh, he bit way too hard. Backhand, forehand. And there we go. We make it 3 to nothing. I think that is pretty much the dagger for this game. I don't think he's going to come back after this one. And uh, just hopefully we can win this division. If we can win this division, we can get like a nice little chunk of coins from the division title bonus. So hopefully we can get that. Oh my goodness. What a goal. I mean, that was a terrible goal by Wilson. Went right through to Garas. And we make it 4 to nothing. 
I kind of already stopped trying to play. I mean, I'm not even scoring, like, I'm trying not to score any of the cross creasers or any of the breakaways. I'm just kind of just shooting the puck on net and seeing what happens, and one of those goes in. So, anyways, third period, 4 nothing, not a bad lead to have. Alright, so that is the end of the game, and that means we have advanced from Division 10 to Division 9, which I'm finally pretty happy to get out of Division 10. The opponents are just a little bit too easy. Anyways, we did get a nice 750 coin bonus, which is, you know, pretty good adds on, like a nice little chunk onto our already big coin total. And let's take a look at the shots before we go into uh, buying the player. We got 21 shots that game to 10, 9 minutes time on attack to 3 minutes and 45 seconds, 3 stars, Wilson, Carlson, and Shen. So... Definitely not bad. So anyways, we'll go ahead, go into the auction search page. I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. So I set the buy now maximum to 5,392 coins. So we're going to go ahead and choose the 21st player here. And let's see if we can get anything good. So first of all, we already established that there's 14 players on each page. So the next page will start off with 15. And the 15th player is going to be Charlie Coyle. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 Boone Jenner another 86 overall player which is definitely really helpful for the team right now especially a left winger uh, it will definitely fill the roster space pretty well so let's go ahead buy out Boone Jenner throw him into the team and here we have it guys this is going to be the end of episode number two we're going to quickly go through the team before we end off this episode but on our first line we do have Boone Jenner Alexander Barkov and Braden Shen so some major changes this episode just from opening up one pack and on the second line, we got Michael Froelich, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Matt Martin. And on the third line, we got Matt Nieto, Peter Holland, Yannick Hansen, as well as Tom Wilson, Melker Carlson, and Sean Mathias. So, so far right now, I'm thinking this Hut Roulette is working out pretty well. Uh, so most of the players I'm picking up from the marketplace, they aren't, like, extremely expensive. Like, Boone Jenner, I picked him up for 650 coins and, like... All the 86 players right now are going for under a thousand coins, which is absolutely crazy. And there's like a 100k pack out too, so it's like the perfect time to play Hot Roulette and to hopefully pull some of the Team of the Weeks in the future as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. We got a lot of things to look forward to next episode, like opening up another pack if we can get a 6 game win streak. And uh, we are going to go heading into our 5th game win streak in the next episode of Hot Roulette. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. So anyways... That is about it for this episode. If you guys really did enjoy it, leave it a like. If I can get a lot of likes in this episode, I will try my best to bring out another episode right away. And you guys can see right away uh, another pack opening. So that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. I'll do some kind of live stream and uh, trade these guys away so you guys can see what they go for. Uh, but anyway, this team is worth about 2 or 300 k and uh, this team is working really, really well. And you can see just on the bottom.